Holy freaking A, guys. I don't know what that spider is. But I want to wheeze them here. Just kind of went through a rambly spill on uh, some money saving tips at GameStop. Animal Crossing Series 1, 3, and 4 cards are on clearance there. Series 2 is not. Could not tell you why. But uh, that's the situation I ran into. Unbox Timmy and Tommy. Picked them up today basically for two bucks because I had 10 by way of, you know, the new GameStop program. Some of you might be in the same boat. Check that video out for details. We'll keep this one kind of on a quicker pace. So, uh, we've got these six Animal Crossing Amiibos in the back. We've not gotten to open just yet. I am stoked for Blathers, man. He is going to look so freaking sweet. <laughs> and uh, what I'm going to do is kind of, I do this to myself throughout live. I don't know why. He's the one I'm most excited about, so I'm kind of going to do them in a reverse order of like my excitement level, I suppose. So, we're going to get started with Cap'n. Nothing against Cap'n. Uh, he sings some good songs as we head over to Tortimer Island in uh, New Leaf. But, uh, we're going to go ahead and open him up first. Every one of these guys, I don't remember the exact price, but they were not over $4. Amazon. Holy freaking A, guys. I don't know what that spot is. Good lord, man. Do you see it? Okay, I've got to kill something and I will be right back. That's like part scorpion. Uh, it is by Stormblade right now, so uh, one second. I need to equip some shoes and uh, take care of this nuisance. All right, so it is about 12 hours later and uh, quite an interesting night. Uh, the good news is the iPad updated successfully, Battlecast is installed. Uh, those are some of, the, some of the strangest recordings I've ever done. But uh, the good news is I think that the spider is dead. The bad news, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Uh, long story short, I was hanging out under the Sky Slicer, of course, you know, I should have kept the camera rolling, I'll, I'll be honest, but uh, went ahead, turned it off, you know, there's probably people who's like, oh, you know, don't don't hurt nature, don't kill a spider, and didn't want to deal with that, and I can tell you right now, I don't know if I killed it or not, so everyone's happy, except me, because of the unknown, but uh, went after it, and it went right over, like, it's very hard to explain, but this little gap here in the pool table, this is basically, you know, you got your dots where you line up the geometry of your shots. Spider goes under there, right? And so I'm whacking away at it with this magazine I have. And then I went at it with the uh, Timmy and Tommy packaging because I couldn't get to it. You can't just like, you know, put your finger in there and jostle it out or something. So I've got the magazine, the packaging, sort of a flat surface, try and maneuver it. It literally, and it, that thing was big. I don't know how it did this. Like, I couldn't even get a business card through there. But the spider positions itself, and it gradually just starts going inside that cavity. At that point in time, I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's very hard to explain, but we've got a corner pocket, like, right here. Hot Streak literally just drove into it, okay? That has a piece of wood, like here's the pocket, and there's a solid piece of oak right here, okay? There's nowhere to go. Same in the other corner pocket, just a few feet away. It's sealed off, so, you know, I thought, okay, well, I guess it might be up under here. I get a light up under the area. There's no sign of the spider. That, obviously, is a very bad thing. <laughs> and uh, there's nowhere under the pool table I can find it. It's not on the floor. I start, you know, frantically sliding the packaging and stuff in. I got two things out that look like... Uh, they're like a very thick, almost like a crab leg type of material. Um, maybe it's... I don't know if it's not dead. Maybe it's, like, limping around now and it won't uh, interrupt our unboxings. I really don't know. But... Uh, yeah, so it wasn't, you know, you have to remember, I live in Texas, so we have tarantulas, we have, when I first moved out here, there were scorpions all over the place, sort of like the houses invaded their homeland or something. Wasn't a scorpion, wasn't a tarantula, it wasn't even as big as a wolf spider in my opinion. 
but it was something I don't think I've ever seen. When it came over there between Villager and Kirby, that's when it first sort of like snuck into my peripheral, right over in that direction. It almost looked like it had like, I mean, it was almost like Skylander-esque, clamshell, crustacean-like, you know? And I'm sitting there like, well, this is comical. And I'm like, that is, that is a bad looking spider. And it's a situation I've never seen it. You know, it wasn't a black widow, it wasn't a daddy long legs, it wasn't a tarantula. I don't have a clue what it was. And uh, I think that's, you know, the uh, part of uncertainty. But uh, anyway, you know, like I said, I should have kept it going. I run it by my mom and she's like, well, you're, you're not going to leave that in the video because I was using the video. I was like, hey, let me let me find that spot and see if we can tell what it is. And I was like, well, that's that's gross. You're, you're going to cut that out. Right. And then uh, my sister heard about it later earlier this afternoon. I got a text from her. It's like, I assume it was about that. It could have been about something else. But uh, she's like, you're going to leave that in there. Right. That that could be your big break. It could go viral. <laughs> and, uh, I don't think that's the case, but you never know. Uh, sometimes it's the dumbest little things in life that catch off and go. But uh, needless to say, I'm very excited to get this stuff unboxed and off the pool table. I'm assuming the spider dropped down out of an air vent. I don't really know. I've got my fan on to slice any intruders. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, anyway, I apologize. It's been a very, very strange uh, last couple of hours here for me. So I uh, tried to sleep in and just forget about it. That didn't really help much either. If I was attacked in the night, I don't know. Uh, best case scenario, I have radioactive spider powers now. But where were we? I honestly don't know. It's capping. This is what his packaging looks like. Flip it around. I don't think we've done this. That's the NF. Isn't it just totally expected that the batteries would die after all that? But uh, right here, that is the NFC pad area. That's where I will personally be scanning them in for Amiibo Festival. We got a new 3DS. It'll work on the touchscreen of old school 3DS like me. You need that puck, which again, you can acquire it through Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. I've seen it at pretty good reductions here recently. Uh, that said, there is his in-game artwork. <laughs> it's capping. Uh, again, kind of not really someone you interact with a lot unless you go to the island all the time, but even if you've gone to the island once or twice, very memorable character. So I assume that's why they included him. Uh, right there, you can see him in game. He's kind of got the dice up in the air, about to throw it, I guess, sort of why he looks out of place. Note the new amiibo, though. Timmy and Tommy, Rover, and I, that is a spring or summer outfit, Isabel. So uh, there's some little artwork for Cap, and he sort of got his official garb and then his sort of island attire. I think they nailed it uh, with that. I'm actually just noticing the sunglasses for the first time. So we'll check that out. Yeah, they're definitely there. But uh, like I said, I'm a little scatterbrained at this point, so bear with me. But uh, yeah, I'm, I had wanted to get a bunch of these unboxed last night, just edit the videos and actually kind of, you know, work on the cards and stuff. But like I said, my goal now is to kind of get everybody unboxed and get everything off of the pool table. So it's going to be fun. going to be a good day. Uh, needed to unbox these for a while. I've just been too busy. Again, if you want to keep him in his packaging but use him, you've got to break him down. You've got to get this out of here. It's something Nintendo does. Wish they were more like Skylanders and lenient for... Ooh, he's going to look pretty cool. Lenient for collectors, but it is what it is. So the good thing about Amiibo, every single one has been pretty easy to open up. Right here, you got your 45 degree down while holding down on the base of your amiibo then you can just slide it out the size of the uh, base is uniform and of course that allows us to get these guys in and out very easily so snap that back into place again i know a lot of you like to have dual functionality you know sort of in-game function and display in the packaging pull that piece of foil out seal it back up just open it a little bit more carefully that said Cap'n looks really good out of the packaging. I'm actually surprised. So he's kind of got the classic sort of like old man, I'm not impressed vibe going, which is actually somewhat hard to achieve in like a still image, I would say, of an amiibo. Comic book character, yeah, maybe a little easier, but on a like 3D, you know, modeled figure, uh, not the easiest thing to do. So that's an accomplishment. I've never known if that's like a bald spot or if that is, uh, you know, just like the top of the head. I, who knows? <laughs> I'm not good with hair on turtles because I've never seen it outside of Animal Crossing. But hey, it's cool. The color scheme I feel like is pretty good. My favorite thing about Cap in here, though, again, is his island attire. He's got the blue button-up shirt. He's got the, uh, I guess, hibiscus flowers on it. Very tropical. Very tourister-like. The sunglasses being a red frame, they 
don't clash they complement the colors they pop they stand out very good call there and then of course he's got some dark shorts on i think it might have looked a little better with some khaki colored shorts but i'm no fashion expert uh that said check this out on the back i did not expect any detail at all but we basically got white ring yellow ring and then the green dot you know green borders in between each and then you sort of got that replicated around the side the shell itself has the white rim on the perimeter overall pretty dadgum impressed with this guy i'm definitely glad we picked him up and again particularly on the ridiculous sale price of somewhere below four dollars so so it works for me base color is orange you see the amiibo logo there so this is Cap'n. Uh, his unboxing was very unique, just like a boat ride with him. The song will never get out of your head. For those of you that have watched this unboxing, you'll probably never forget the time that the spider attacked. So, uh, that said, I hope you enjoyed. If so, hit that like button. Oneweasem.com is the website. You can also find more Amiibo information on the Skylander Club forum because we have a section dedicated to it. Skylanderclub.com. Check it out. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Like me on Facebook. Circle me on Google plus whichever you prefer that's it for myself and cap and thanks so much for watching uh if it wasn't an issue with copyright strikes i plug in some cap and audio here singing you across the uh, outro but it's a problem so i can't do it but uh, stay tuned i'm not dead yet Cap'n's holding strong and uh, we got some more amiibo to unbox so i hope i will see you in the next one